Hey everybody, Lancer here, welcoming you to Adventure Island 4 for the Famicom. Yes, this game was not released, was not localized, so it only came out in Japan for the Famicom. Interestingly enough, I believe this was actually the last game for the Famicom. So that's interesting. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this going. So I believe the story here is basically... Basically, the, uh, yeah, this guy here, um, the eggplant wizard, I believe he's called, he kidnaps your little animal buddies, and you gotta go and save them, basically. But this game plays much different than the previous Adventure Island games. It plays more like a Zelda Metroid kind of game, rather than your typical platformer. So it's more of an action adventure. So in here, you can actually sleep, and you'll get a password. Because this game does run on a password system. So yeah, that's cool. You can go to your menu here, you know, you get your items and weapons and such. We only have the bone for now. You know, your typical Adventure Island weapon. Interesting thing, like, a lot of the other weapons don't, don't have the range that the bone has. Ah, oh, Master Higgins, it's been a long time since we adventured together. All those years ago. Yeah, well. Here, take this egg. I'm far too old to help you. But this and the others, like it, can serve as teleports. Take care, Master. So yeah, you can place that egg on these little pedestals that you'll see throughout the game. And then you can just use the egg there and you'll teleport to that spot. So that can be useful. You can also crawl, by the way. It looks kind of weird, but yeah. You can do it. It's good times. But this game is definitely widely considered much easier than the previous games. Because you don't really die. If you lose all your health, you basically just start back at your house. So, you know, there's not really like lives or game overs or anything like that. So yeah, but bait, and there's, there's also no vitality, if you notice. Basically, you you each fruit you get fills up the little bar at the bottom, and once it fills up, you you get a you you refill a heart. So yeah, and those water droplets do damage you, which is kind of sad, but yeah. You'll need a hammer to play. Yeah, that's a mini game you need the hammer to play. So we'll have to get the hammer first. Ow. I think it damaged you apparently. I didn't think it could, but yeah, I can. We need another heart now, thank you very much. You can actually go this way to get some health, I believe. Of course you'll have to go back around, but you know, it's Not a big deal. Do -do 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 -do. So yeah, they kind of uh, went further with this whole idea of gameplay for Super Adventure Island 2, which is cool. I think they actually implemented it better in that game, but we'll get to that game soon enough. But yeah, this, this is a pretty good game. I'm not really sure why it was never localized for the NES. I don't know. Maybe there's some reason, but I don't know. I've never really heard anything about it, so... I don't know. Race me to the top? Bet you all win. This is kind of annoying, actually. Alright. So basically what you have to do is keep pushing A as you climb up this vine. But it can be really tricky to do, because you gotta get like a rhythm going. It would seem yeah, it's not working. Eh. But yeah, I believe you you can get four prizes, a different one for every time you win it. I definitely recommend doing so. Let's try this again, shall we? Yeah, it's not going up. 
Well, I started to at the end there. Let's try this again. See, clearly I'm not doing something right. Let's try it again. Yeah, it's not going up. I think you gotta... Okay, there we go. Okay. Let's try this again. You see, I can, I can get it going, but... The controls are very finicky. Let's try this one more time. Now it's... I don't know, man. It's, it's very touchy. There we go. That's better. Got it! Let me get the compass, which lets you see the map, basically. I think you have to, uh... No, I have to get to push select. Yeah, there it is. You, you, you can look at the map, which I guess is cool. I don't think it's extremely helpful, but that eh, is. So, so now we can get a heart, which you can use to refill a heart when you need to, which, is, which I guess is good, right? Oh, that's not gonna work. See, it's very finicky. It's very touchy. There we go. Nice! Get that heart. So we'll hold on to that for now. This one you get a potion, which I believe re recovers your hearts to full. So it's basically like a better version of the heart. So it's something we definitely want. There we go. Yeah, I, I definitely got the hang of it now. Right, but like I said, it's very touchy. And we can get one more item. The home. Basically, you use it and it'll take you back home. So. Which I guess is cool, right? We can go ahead and get that. Although you could just die and it'd do the same thing, but I don't know. Who wants to die? I mean, come on. It's not right. So I got that. I say we move on. I wanna go down here? Yeah, that sprout makes you jump like a little spring. Come into here and we got kind of a boss fight. It's not technically a boss, it's just like a tougher enemy. This bat turns turns into a bigger bat, it takes about 15 hits. And he like shoots out little bats at you, but it's really not that big of a deal. Just be careful when he swoops at you. It's really not that bad, though. There we go, see? Pretty simple. And he explodes for whatever reason, and we get the hammer! Which you need to break boulders and such. Yeah, in this game, you, you don't throw it. You It's actually like a short-range weapon. C kind of like Zelda. So yeah, you actually need that to play the 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 whack a mole little mini game thing, and you can crush rocks with it, like so. And you actually need it to um get through certain areas because of blocking boulders and such. So we'll go ahead and do this. This is pretty annoying, but you gotta smash 20 moles, and you want a fairy. This is really hard because there's really no room for error. If you miss one of them, you're you're practically screwed. So my advice would be to swing the hammer like before you actually get to the mole, and usually it still counts. Yeah, I, I think I've already screwed this up. Cause I I think technically you're able to miss like one mole, but that's it. So yeah. They really made it so there's no room for error here. 
So that's unfortunate, but such is the way of things. At 12, that's pretty terrible. Alright, let's see if we can get them all this time. Do, 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 do. Ah, that's probably the one in the upper left is probably the toughest one to get. Cause sometimes it just slips away and yeah. Ah, damn it! I screwed this one up. Sixteen. All right, let's try this one more time. So basically, you want to try and not miss any of them. down like where they're gonna be because I think they have the same pattern I'm not sure though it seems like they do almost got it one more got it okay 21 and we got the fairy good stuff which basically like in Zelda it revives you when you run out of hearts and after using it up, you can always come back here and play the mini game again to get another one. Well, I'm not really looking forward to that because that mini game is pretty annoying. But yeah. Okay. Let's move on, shall we? Now that we got the hammer, we can break through this rock. Bam. Yeah, but typically the bone is better to use to fight off enemies with because it's long range. Give me that fruit. There's our first... Oh boy, yeah, jump over that. Our first egg, egg te teleportation thing. So you should probably put it there. Not too concerned with using it right now, but you never know. I don't think there's anything up here, but you, you get up here. Not really much reason to do that, but yeah. Here we have a cave. Again, the water droplets do damage you for some reason. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe Master Higgins is allergic to water or something, which wouldn't make sense since you can swim in this game, but. I don't know. There's an egg down there where we can go and pick that up if you go on, go if you go into the water. And the star is invincibility. And those like bats that kind of come down on you like that, like they like suck up your life, which is annoying. But yeah. Definitely need to get some fruit and stuff to Get some of that back. Soggy grapes. That's good stuff. Good stuff, man. Yeah, where? Oh boy. It's the bloober thing. Oh, pfft. like I'm gonna be able to get that. Come on. And we get a meat. Okay. We got some health back. It's good stuff. Let's keep on moving. Like I said, you don't really need to come down here, unless you want that health. But if you need health, go ahead. I mean, it's not really that difficult. Oh god, this guy's, this guy's gonna suck out my life. You bastard! What's the matter with you, man? I need to get some of that back. There's another teleport pedestal. 
you can probably guess this, but once you use one, it, it cancels out a any of the other ones you've used. So, keep that in mind. There's a switch here you need to push to move this platform up and down. Just be wary of the water and you should be good to go. And we got our first heart container! Of course there's heart containers. We are playing Zelda, you know. Alrighty then. So let's take on the first boss, first real boss. You know, I consider that bat we fought earlier more of a mid-boss, really, or a sub-boss, or not really like a full-on boss. But this boss is pretty easy. It's like a rock and rock creature thing. Basically, just keep hitting it, avoid the rock as it kind of moves like so. But when the rock falls down, break it, because then then the rock will hit it and it'll be harder to avoid, so... I don't recommend such things, if you know what I mean. And much like previous have been trying against bosses turn red once they've taken enough damage, it means they're about dead, and yeah. It's good stuff. You give that peace sign, Master Higgins. Apparently we blew up a rock. That's cool. Looks like we saved... Rusty. Thank you for saving me. Here, take this. And we get the torch, which is used to light dark rooms and such. It's like a short range thing, so... <gasps> yeah, you don't throw it like I should, but I don't know. 